Hi all, and thanks for clicking in. This is going to be a ridiculously short video, but just something I thought was actually really important given the video that I put out uh, just yesterday and making sure that there was clarity about one point that I just did not clue into for whatever reason until just moments ago. And that has to do with the compare button. So I've got this image here and um, I've done some work on it, including some including some uh, local adjustments, but also some global adjustments. And if I do the compare, what I'm seeing here is the complete before and after. So not only the local adjustments, it's the complete before and after. And I'm in the local adjustment area. Let's pick one of these, for example. So now I've got this so my video yesterday was about, you know, leaving these buttons off, clicking here, doing your changes, keeping it nice and clean. That's lovely. Click my compare button before and after. It's still the complete before and after. And if you've come, especially from Photolab 6, you'll probably be used to the fact that if you're in the local adjustments area, when you click that, you're only just getting the local adjustment before and after. So can you do it? Yes, you can but you have to have one of the tools chosen. So you need to be in that space where, sorry, my computer is just being a bit grumpy and I didn't restart. Um, you need to be in that space where um, you, you'd get your various bits overlaid. And if you're in that space, then you can come up here to the before and after. And this is just my local adjustments before and after. So that's it, very quick video, I'm done. And I'll talk again soon. Thanks for watching. Sorry if there was any confusion about that. Hopefully this will clear that up. Cheers. Bye-bye.